Jason Witten. The Derek Jeter of the Dallas Cowboys. Because Derek Jeter was the only Yankee I could stand. He was the only one I could stomach, man. And Jason Witten, he's like the only Cowboy outside of Ezekiel Elliott. That I could stomach. You know what I mean? Because, you know, I'm, I'm a Nana fan. So, and, and, and it's hard for me to do this. Okay? It was hard for me to do this freaking video. And on top of that, it was like 17 NFL games, two college games, 19 games in total. So, let me get at least 19 likes. Now, anyways, man, we're going to kick things off in NCAA 2002 where he is 74 overall, 58 speed, 71 strength, 56 awareness, 60 agility, 60 acceleration, 72 catch, 73 carry, 60 jumping, 61 break tackle, and then a 63 for his run block rating. Now, his numbers for a sophomore season look like this. He played in 12 games, caught 28 passes for 293 yards, averaging 10.5 yards per catch, and two TDs. Now, his freshman year, he only caught one pass for 11 yards, averaging 11 yards per that one catch, and of course, he played in 11 games. Moving on to NCAA 03, Jason. Jason Witten comes in at 88 overall with 75 speed, 68 strength, 75 awareness, 74 agility, 74 acceleration, 78 catching, 75 carry, 80 jumping, 64 break tackle, and then he comes in with the 54 run block rating. Now his numbers for his final season at Tennessee, because after three years, he's like, I'm about here. I got to get paid. I got to get mine. Anyways, 13 games played. 39 receptions for 493 yards, averaging 12.6 yards per reception, and he also had 5 TDs. So grand total numbers, 68 receptions for 797 yards, averaging 11.7 yards per catch, and he also came in with 7 TDs for his career, and that turned into an average of an 81 overall in college. Now he turned that in to a third round draft pick to the Dallas Cowboys. Jason Wynn, I ain't mad at you because you are one fine tight end you know, fine, meaning how he plays the game, not how he looks, because, you know, I'm not like that, and th that's just me, though. Anyways, man, Madden 04, 70 overall with 77 speed, 75 strength, 55 awareness, 74 agility, 82 acceleration, 75 catching, 59 for his carry, 78 jumping, 58 break tackle, and then a 53 running block rating. His numbers for his rookie season, he played in 15 games, started 7 of them, had 35 catches for 347 yards, and a TD. Now moving on to ESPN Football, a.k.a. 2K4. My man Jason Wynn comes in at 68 overall, 46 run block, 66 catch, 64 route running, 79 for his speed, 79 for his agility, 75 for his strength, 67 for his jump, 65 for his ball security or carry, whatever you feel like calling it, and then his final rating is a 40 for his break tackle. Moving on to Madden 05. And in Madden 05, Jason Witten comes in at 82 overall for his second season, 77 speed, 69 strength, 69 awareness, 76 agility, 82 for his acceleration, 77 for his catching, 65 carries, 79 jumping, 68 break tackle, and then a 59 run block rate. And again, it pains me, but you know, the Cowboys sometimes play the Niners, and sometimes, or a lot of times, they get the best of us. Anyways, let's move on, though. His numbers for his second season look like this. Played in 16 games, started 15 of them, caught 87 passes for 900. 180 yards, averaging 11.3 yards per catch, and had six TDs. Now, moving on to ESPN 2K5, he is 70 overall. He comes in with a 48 run block rating, 68 catching, 66 route running, 79 speed, 79 agility, 75 for his strength, and then a 67 jump rating for Mr. Jason Wynn right now taking on the Bears. And, of course, you know he's going to do his thing, man. If Erlacher is not covering him, it's a mismatch. And even if Erlacher is covering him, it's probably a mismatch. Anyways, Madden 06 on the PS2. Jay Witten is 92 overall with 81 speed, 74 strength, 77 awareness, 80 for his agility, 84 for his acceleration, 85 for his catching, 69 carry, 79 jumping, 69 break tackle, and a 61 run block. And one thing I noticed about the Titans and Madden, they are very consistent when it comes to their overalls, man. So we did Tony Gonzalez pretty consistent. We also did my man Antonio Gates. Pretty consistent, man. Now, his numbers for this season look like this. Started all 16 games. Caught 66 passes for 757 yards. Averaging 11.5 yards per catch. And once again, had six 
TDs. Six TDs for my man Jay Wynn. Now moving on to Madden 06 on the Xbox 360. Once again, 92 overall, 81 speed, just like in the PS2 version, 74 strength, 77 awareness, 80 agility, 84 acceleration, 85 catch, 69 carry, 79 jump, 69 break tackle, and then a 61 run block. And if you were paying attention, the overall and the attributes were exactly the same. Madden 07, once again, he is 92 overall with 77 speed, 74 strength, 76 agility. Also comes in with 82 acceleration, 80 awareness, 69 carry, 85 for his catching, 79 for his jumping, and then a 61 for his run block. His numbers for this year look like this. It says that he played in 16 games but started only 15 of them. That could be a typo. 64 for his receiving, or for his receptions excuse me. He also came in with 754 yards receiving, averaging 11.8 yards per reception, and this time only got one TD, just like he did in his rookie season. Moving on to Madden 08, once again, 92 overall. What you gonna do, man? He is 92 overall again. 77 speed, 71 strength, 74 agility, 79 acceleration, 80 awareness, 69 carry, 85 catch, 84 for his route running, 90 catch in traffic, 82 spectacular catch, and then the 92 release or beat press rating. Now, his numbers for this season, started all 16 games, 96 receptions, which is the second most for his career, maybe so far, I don't know. Anyways, he also had 1,000. 145 yards, which is the most in his career so far. Again, I don't know. Averaging 11.9 yards per reception and a grand total of 7 TDs. And with those numbers, he gets a 97 overall in Madden 09 with Brett Favre on the cover. Now, my man Jason Wynn, like I said, 97 overall, right? He also comes in with 84 speed, 74 strength, 79 agility, 82 acceleration, 80 awareness, 77 for his carry, 85 catching, 94 route running, 92 catch in traffic, uh, 82 excuse me for his spectacular catch, and then the 92 release. His numbers for this season look like this. He played in all 16 games. He caught a grand total of 81 passes for 952 yards, averaging 11.8 yards per reception, and he got four TDs. Not bad, not bad for Jason Wynn, man. Let's move on to Madden 2010, where you guessed it, he is 97 overall. Again, consistency. Consistency is the name of the game with these tight ends, especially with a man like Jason Wick. Give the man his due. I am, and I'm a Niner fan. Anyways, man, Madden 2010. 97 overall, 75 for his speed, 73 for his strength, 79 for his awareness, for his, his agility, excuse me, 79 for his acceleration, 90 awareness, 77 carry, 88 for his catching, 95 for his route running, 92 for his catch and traffic, 82 spectacular catch, and then the 92 for his release. His numbers come in like this. He played in all 16 games. He caught 94 passes for 1,030 yards, two TDs, but he averaged 11 yards per reception. Like every single year, he's almost averaging 11 yards per reception doing his thing. Madden 11 with Drew Brees on the cover. He is 97 overall again, talking about Jay Witten. 75 speed, 73 strength, 79 agility, 79 acceleration, 90 awareness, 77 carry, 88 catch, 95 route running, 92 catch and traffic, 82 spectacular catch, and the 92 beat press or release rating, depending on what you feel like calling it. Now his number for the 2010 NFL season looked like this, started all 16 games. Caught 94 passes back to back season. That's right, 94 passes yet again for 1,002 yards, averaging 10.7 yards per catch and a grand total. Nine TDs. A career high, nine TDs. And Madden 12 has the audacity to drop him down by one to 96 overall. I don't understand it. But, anyways, let's move on. 75 speed, 75 strength, 79 agility. Also comes in with an 81 acceleration, 94 awareness. His carry is at 77. His catching is at 95. 93 route running, 93 catch in traffic, 79 spectacular catch, and then the 85 for his release. Moving on to his numbers for the 2011 NFL season look like this. Started all 16 games, obviously. You know he's an Iron Man. 79 receptions for 942 yards. Averaged 11.9 yards per reception and had five 
TDs. Again, the man is consistent. Moving on to Madden 13 on the Xbox 360. He is 93 overall. Mr. Jason Wynn goes down by 3 to 93 overall. 75 for his speed. 75 for his strength. 77 for his agility. 81 acceleration. 97 for his awareness. 78 for his carry. 92 for his catching. 93 route running. Not, uh, 95 for his catch and traffic. 78 spectacular catch. And then an 85 for his release. His number for the 2012 NFL season looked like this. He caught a grand total of 110 passes, averaging 9.4 yards per pass. He had 1,039 yards receiving and three TDs. 110 catches? He's straight beasting and feasting. And you know his overall had to go back up. PS4, next gen. Jason went back to 96 overall. 75 speed, 74 strength. 76 agility, 81 acceleration, 96 awareness, 78 carry, 96 catch, 93 route running, 96 for his catch in traffic, 79 for his spectacular catch, 85 for his release. His numbers, they come in like this. Played in all 16 games, caught 73 passes for 851 yards, averaging 11.7 yards per catch, and had 8 TDs. That, as of right now, is the second highest TD performance that he had in his career so far. Next year, if he comes back, which I think he will, he could do it again. He could have another another tremendous year. Who's to say that Jason Wynn can't do it, man? But we know that Father Time is undefeated. Anyways, man, Madden 15, 93 overall. 75 speed, 74 strength, 76 agility, 81 acceleration, 96 awareness, 78 carry, 94 catching, 87 route running, 90 catching traffic, 78 spectacular catches, and an 85 release. So his attributes are starting to dip just a little bit, man. But again, he's a tight end in Madden. And tight ends in Madden sometimes are not abusive or glitchy. You just can't stop them. Call it what you want to call it. Anyways, his numbers for this season look like this. He caught 64 passes in 16 games. He he had seven uh, 703 yards receiving, averaging 11 yards per catch, and he also had five TDs. And right there, making the Eagles look silly, bro. Making the Eagles look absolutely ridiculous. How he caught that pass, I don't know. I mean, obviously, I was playing on like rookie. What you gonna do? I'm trying to get footage, okay? I'm trying to get footage. Madden 16, he is 93 overall. Again, again, like I said, consistency is the name of the game. 76 speed, 75 strength, 75 agility, 80 for his acceleration, 97 awareness, 78 for his carry, 95 catching, 88 route running, 92 catch in traffic, 79 spectacular catch, and then the 85 release or beat press rating. Now, his numbers for the 2015 NFL season look like this. He caught 77 passes for 713 yards, of course, in 16 games. He averaged 9.3 yards per catch, and he also had a grand total of three TDs. So Jason Wynn, definitely a Hall of Famer. I believe he is number one in receptions by, uh, not by a tight end, but just in Cowboys history. He is number one. I believe he's like third or fourth when it comes to TDs in Cowboys history. So is he one of the best Cowboys of all time? Yeah, but where? Number one, number two, number three, number four. I don't know. You let me know. Anyways, man, Madden 17. He is 86 overall. The production is starting to dip just a little bit, but you know what? It's still Jason Wynn. Give the man his respect. 86 overall, 75 speed, 75 strength, 75 agility, 79 acceleration, 91 awareness, 78 for his carry, 93 for his catch, 84 for his route running, 88 catch in traffic, 82 spectacular catch, and then the 82 release. His numbers for the 2016 NFL season look like this. Once again, he started all 16 games. He caught 69 passes for 673 yards, averaging 9.8 yards per reception and three TDs. Now, when we add up all his overalls and we divide that thing by number of games that I have, we get 88 overall for my man, Jason Witt. Now, his career numbers so far, let me add, so far are like this. He caught 1,089 passes for, one th for 11,888 yards, averaging 10.9 yards, basically 11 yards per reception, and 63 TDs. That's my time. That's going to wrap it up. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Through the Years. I hope to see you guys next time. I hope that the rest of your day is the best of your day. I want to see you guys later. Peace. Peace.